Hi, and welcome to my uh, continuation of my series of uh, watching and uh, reviewing all of the Arnold Schwarzenegger movies that I have on DVD. And also, this is my continuation of my series. Uh, each month, I watch and review some of my favorite actor movies that have a bunch of their uh, movies on DVD that I consider to be some of my favorite actor or actress of all time. And I'll uh, continue to do it for another couple months. And then I'll be done. And then I'll move on to another act, or uh, another, uh, then I'll move on to another, uh, uh, theory or marathon. Okay? So, um, so, um, uh, a couple hours ago, I just finished watching, um, The Terminator. Give me the clone. I'll be back. Where, uh, Sarah Connor. Um, so, a couple months ago, I, I bought this uh, Terminator 5th film collection, okay? I think all the movies, at least for, uh, one, the last, the last one I think was uh, Terminator Dark Fate, okay? The only one I never seen, to be honest, was Terminator Salvation, because I was huge to watch it. I could have seen it in the past, but the reason I never watched it before is because of a uh, it never had, it didn't have Arnold Schwarzenegger in it, okay? Um, um, okay? So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, and the reason why I had this like this in the thumbnail is because, um, because you know which one I'm on, okay? It said the Terminator, okay? So, let me put it back in the box, read the background. I'm going to give my, my opinion uh, on the movie after I do the background and then I'll be done. And then, and then, uh, uh, like a day or two from now, I'll go watch uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, okay? Um, okay? And then after I, um, then after I, um, uh, watch, watch and review all of the, uh, Terminator movie in the box that I have, and then I'll uh, watch it, watch and review some of the other movies, uh, all unfortunate movies that I have on DVD. Okay, True Lies, Conan the Barbarian. Okay, and some of the other one I have. Okay, so um, Terminator directed by James Cameron, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, Linda Hamilton. Michael Ben, uh, Paul Winfield, uh, reset October 26th, 1984, 107 minutes, uh, 6.4 million with the budget and made 78.3 million, okay? Um, Cameron divides the premise of the film from, from a fever dream that he experienced during the release of his first film, Father 2, The Fallen. Falling. Okay. Um. Uh. It starred on a fortune as a Terminator, a cybernet assassin sent back in time from 2029 to 1984 to kill Sarah Connor, played by Leno Hamilton, who unborn son will one day save mankind from extinction by cybernet hostile artificial intelligence, a post-apocalypse future. Kyrie is a soldier I sent back in time to protect Sarah. Okay? Um, uh, so when you go to Rotten Tomatoes, 100%. Wow. Okay? Um, so the credit of Rotten Tomatoes give it 100%. The audience, 89%. Okay? Um, so, um, so, um, first of all, there's a couple of things I want to say. Um, um, when I was in high school, my science teacher always said that this was her favorite, uh, move. Okay? Um, 
uh, fan, fans say that coming in to Gemma Day is, is better. Okay. Um, um, I remember when I was little, I think we, me and my dad went in this movie. And, um, I think this is the only one that my dad seen. Um, and Terminator Dark Fate was the only one that seen in theaters. Okay. Um, Termin uh, and, uh, Terminator Salvation is the only one. Uh, I never seen, so I'll watch it since I'm uh, watching all of these in order and doing my marathon of uh, watching all of my uh, Honor Fortunate movies that I have on DVD. And yet, Honor Fortunate is one of my favorite uh, uh, absence of all time because I never realized how many movies that seen him in. And some of them I grew up with, like Two Lies and some of the. Uh, Terminator movie, okay, but, but like, I, getting back to that story, uh, when I was little, and me and my, my dad went in, uh, uh, Terminator, the first one, I think, was like, Hollywood video, or Blockbuster, I forgot which one it was, and we freaked out, and, because, uh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was a bad guy, killing people, we're like, what, and I don't know, we turned it off in the world, or we didn't like it, but, over the years, I, I, uh, a few more times I watched it, uh, uh, I, I kind of liked it more and more, okay? Fans consider this like kind of like a horror movie, kind of, you know, uh, like kind of uh, uh, unfortunate character with killing people and that, that slaughtering people in the machine gun and stuff, okay? And, and I can see why they consider it kind of like a horror movie, okay? And, uh, let's see here, um, uh, um, they, they just call it that science fiction action, that's by action, okay? But, but, but I can see, uh, it, it, I can see why you call it also a horror movie, horror, like that's by action horror. Okay, um, so it was a movie where, uh, fans were also considered as a horror movie, kind of like, they, they, uh, were considered Jaws a horror movie, okay? Um, okay, so, um, um, Terminator, uh, it's a franchise that, uh, um, I'm not really a big fan of. I don't hate the hate the franchise. It's just I can watch them and enjoy them, but I think that's just okay. So, so maybe maybe I might uh, like them more when I go back and watch these again. Okay. Um, Terminator and Terminator Two, Gemini Day, the one I've seen the most. And okay. Um. So. Um. Uh, okay. Um. Okay, um, I never understand why, like in the second one, like, like, like in the first one he was the bad guy, and then the second one came back as a good guy. I never understand that, okay? Um, okay. I know Terminator is the iconic franchise, because they mentioned Terminator in uh, uh, Avengers Endgame, okay? Uh, I, 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 Definitely agree, without a doubt, that Terminator and Terminator 2 get the day, um, are the best. I don't know which one I like, like the most. Okay. Um, so, maybe after I watch the second one, uh, in a day or two, and I come back and review it, I'll tell you which one I like more. Okay. Or which one I like, either like more, or which one I think is, is better at the two. Cause, uh, credit, I mean, uh, fans, Terminator fans always, uh, say that, uh, Terminator 2 Gemini Day is better than the first one. And, and I'll also consider that one of the greatest action movies of all time. Okay? Um, okay. Um, okay. 
the couple say now I like this thing in this movie, the, the Terminator movie, the, the, the first one. Um, I would like this thing, um, maybe some of the stuff I would like to thing uh, probably couldn't happen in, uh, in, in other movies. I mean, uh, in the future uh, sequel, the Terminator franchise, but, but, um, I would like to see Kyle, uh, Kyle, uh, stay in the franchise. Um, um, I would like to see, uh, Gary Connor be more of a badass and, uh, instead of just uh, crying and hiding, okay, and calling the police, okay, um, cause you know, uh, when you, when you have, uh, when, when, when you talk about, like, some of the, uh, women in movies that not, that not woke, she comes up, okay, along with, like, the, like, the girl from, like, the woman, the, the character from, uh, the Alien franchise, I'm trying to think of her name, you know, played by, uh, uh, Corey Weaver, uh, whatever her name is, you know, for those two, like, some of the iconic, uh, female characters in, uh, uh movie history. Yeah, not woke. Okay, um, but she is an awesome female uh, uh, movie character. Okay, uh, I would like to think uh, she got some cool uh, thing where she's driving with Kyrie and stuff. Okay, um, okay, uh, um, but the couple thing, the couple. There's a couple things that I don't understand. Like, the one thing where, uh, uh, Arnold Fortunator character, uh, let's see here, uh, what you call it, uh, I know he plays with some kind of, uh, uh, cyborg character. Cause, uh, cause, uh, Derek where he's a robot, and he go, uh, Kyle don't know, he's like, He's a thigh boy. So let's see here. Let's see here. What what is uh is he um uh he's a terminator, okay? So that's what he is, a terminator. Okay. Um uh, so you call him a terminator, okay? Um a a cybernetic okay. Um so um okay um um, there were, uh, there were a couple, uh, a thing that I don't, uh, if I had to give a movie a couple negative, these would be the negative. Um, there were one thing where, um, they're doing a car chase, and, and I like car chase in movies, okay? When you have car chase in movies, uh, it makes me like the movie more. Or, uh, I like, it make me have more entertaining, entertainment in the movie. Um, and there was a, there was a car chase and, uh, Terminator, you know, on a Fortnite character, uh, runs through the wall. He, he, when he drives in the car, when he drives in the cop car, and he, he hit the wall, and you don't see how he escaped. Okay? And, um, then there was one thing where, um, uh, um, uh, he goes in the barn with Derek Conrad, where she was like, like, at the table after she called the three, and they told him, they told her, sit, sit down, uh, I think they said, don't talk to nobody, don't go to the bathroom, just stay there, we'll be on our way, or something like that. And, she, uh, uh, the Terminator finally, See Derek Connor and point the gun with the laser beam on it, you know, and she, uh, she like looked at him and the laser beam like pointed to her forehead like two feet back in before she even moved. I'm like, if that happened to me, I would like move right off the bat. If somebody pointed a gun at me in public, my reaction would be to move right off the bat, okay, um, 
So, um, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, um, so, um, yeah, um, so I like, I, I, I do like the, um, um, the horror element in it, and I can see why a fan, uh, 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 you know, when, when you look at people review a bit for me, or what they say about it, they, they, they like, uh, uh horror element, uh, the coming in, you know, on the fortune air, going in, black, blasting people in the bar, blasting people in the, uh, in the police station. I'm like, man, he's like unstoppable. Okay. Uh, and you know, you know that, uh, Dale Connor not, not going to, uh, get killed because she didn't, what, uh, I don't know how many sequels she did. I know she was in the, in the, the last one, coming in Dark Fate. Okay, that's the last one I saw in the or that's the, that was the first one, that was the only Terminator movie I saw in the okay, um, so, um, uh, so, um, and to me, I would rather watch the movie again, than, uh, than the Avatar movies, I don't care about the Avatar movie, I don't care about Dave Cameron making, uh, a couple more, uh, Avatar sequels, me, this is better than uh, Avatar. Okay. Yes, uh, I did. Uh, four or five years ago, watch Avatar one time, the first one, and uh, I never watched it again because I thought it was too long and boring. Now the movie can be long and entertainment, entertainment, but that, but the reason why I never saw the second one. What weight of water, and I, that's why I never went saw it. Cause I'm like, the first one was boring, and I didn't care about it. That's why I never went saw it. Okay. Um. So, um, yeah. Uh, an underrated, uh, an underrated game Cameron movie that I'm gonna talk about and review. I have unfortunate, I have unfortunate in it, and one of my favorite is True Life. Okay, um, so, um, uh, yeah, so, um, uh, if I had to get to a grade, I would give it, like, you know, at least a 90. And that would be, um, um, an A, okay, um, okay, um, so, um, if you like sci-fi movie, kind of like, you know, Star Wars, Star Trek, I'm trying to think where, uh, where, where's The Matrix, uh, then you did a try, um, I wish this movie were a little longer, this movie could be like 10, 15, 20 minutes longer, but, uh, yeah, okay, uh, one of the greatest, uh, uh, sci-fi, black action movie, a long time, in my opinion, and in my opinion, way better than Avatar. Okay, to me, Avatar is overrated. Okay, uh, now I don't know about the second one, second Avatar. I never saw it. I, I saw the, uh, I saw uh, Avatar, the original one, the first Avatar one time. I don't know how many years ago, but I did, uh, and I never watched it again because I don't care about. It. Okay, I thought it was boring. Okay? Uh, but, this, this is what, uh, this is what Dan Cameron was good at. Okay? This movie, the second one, I think he did the second one, and True Life. Okay? Um, um, okay? And, uh, and after I would, after I review all the, um, the Terminator movie, I'll tell you which one is my favorite, and or which one I think is the best, and then after I was uh, watching review all the Honor Fortunate movies uh, that have on DVD, then I'll tell you which one, which one I think is his best movie, and which one I think is my favorite. Okay, uh, cause you know, you know, 
every time I hear about Arnold Schwarzenegger, everyone talks about, oh, uh, the Terminator franchise. Well, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger got other good movies besides yet Terminator franchise. True Lies, I think underrated. He got, uh, he got Predator. Okay. So, um, so, uh, thank y'all for watching. And, um, uh, in a day or two, I'll go watch the Terminator 2 Judgment Day. And then, then I'll give you my, my review of that and tell you which one I think it, I like more. The first one or the second one. And thank y'all. And, come next time.